Hello, Libra. Well, it looks like some hard lessons were learned with one past soulmate. However, you have evolved so much with what you've learned from that, you no longer vibrate at the same level. So it looks like you need to pursue someone new that's at your level. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. But pardon for the different table. I'm currently undergoing extensive renovations in my house and I'm just trying to find the best place to set up to finish for this week. So pardon me. Ah, oh, this is a Libra tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Um sometimes more show up. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Ooh, discover your superpower. Number 33, access 100% of your mojo. Ah, utilizing all energy, are we? I'll put that, that right there. And, ooh, this is promising. How much good can you handle? Number 39, reduces to 12 back to a th three so six and three okay explore your upward spiral spiral of grace so if things have felt kind of challenging lately <laughs> i'm not going to say it all happens for a reason because that is so infuriating <laughs> um but there is although there may be purpose to what you've been through the reward is imminent okay for whoever needs to hear that the reward is imminent okay show me what's going on with libra please show me what's going on with libra please Ace of Pentacles there underneath. Five of Pentacles, sure. Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords, yeah. Five of Cups. Ace of Wands. Put that buddy over there. Queen of Wands. Ooh, we took some initiative. I feel like someone ran from this. I'm going to read this side as you, Libra. Let's see, get, get all the cards in here. All right, my little round table is quite little. I'm going to read this side as you. This is the person you're connecting with. This is the situation. It's, of course, the situation that changed in the physical world. There was a bit of a loss. It did spark a lot of change. You got fives and eights. Okay, um, the, this, this was, okay, because this seems to be a theme this week as well, because um, even after all of this, there's still a new beginning, a real one, okay. Um, the truth of this situation is actually what lit a fire under your ass, because this is how you're showing up, okay. Um, I'm not saying that this is your fault. I'm not saying it's their fault. I'm not saying it's both of yours or none of yours or anything like that. But part of the lesson here was, the, <laughs> permit me the cliche, the truth will set you free. Admission of what is real and what isn't real. Of what is true for you and what is not. The truth about what has changed. Okay, and using this, source, this sword to cut yourself free. Okay, because it looks very clearly like th this person ran. Almost like they choked and then ran. They only showed up in a small way. Okay, they only showed up in a small way. But you learning the truth about this, whatever pattern this may be connected to, 
is part of this self-discovery. I know no one wants to hear that. <laughs> I know no one wants to hear that. But I'm glad this truth, although it made you sad for a time, it, it feels like it angered you more, okay? Which is what made you move, because that's what the Queen of Wands does. She doesn't stand still, okay? She does not stand still. Let's see if there's anything else here. Yes, this this was this was a divinely guided lesson. Okay, it doesn't matter if they were a soul bond or not. A lot of our soulmates teach us the toughest life lessons. Do you, it's like do you do you see do you, there is a part of this where it's like do you actually see the divinity in yourself? that this situation is undeserving of you. Okay. Something that is yours isn't supposed to be resisted so much. Okay. Well, let's get into the five of pentacles, please. Hermit, card of Virgo. Two of wands. Seven of cups. King of cups. Water energy. Could be Scorpio. Uh-huh. Five of Wands, Sun. Hmm. This feels like this person tried to um, um, have their cake and eat it too. Okay. Um, it feels like they would fall back and come for like in and out of your life. Okay. Um, this person had a, not so much a shroud of, you might have convinced yourself it's a shroud of mystery when actually it was manipulation. Um, there were other people involved as well. Okay. What was illuminated here is the truth that you saw that they will never let go of whatever their other situations are. Okay. Show me. And you discovered the choice. There was like, it was almost like a coming to Jesus conversation with yourself. Like, okay, am I going to see this situation in front of me for what it is? I'm going to choose that or I'm going to stay in the fantasy. Fantasy land is a whole lot of fun. Been there at Disneyland. It's awesome. But you do have to leave at some point. Okay. Not mean to knock, you know, Mickey Mouse or anything, but you know what I'm saying. Even if it is a soul bond. Even if it is a soul bond. Show me the Ace of Swords. That you, okay, that's the truth. You've wasted too much time with this. Temperance, Carter, Sag, Knight of Pentacles. The truth is you, you, you spent way too much time on this connection. Been there. Done that. It sucks. Show me the five of cups, please. Ooh, the sadness is over. And we're back to work. All right. Oh, and the epiphanies are incoming. Sometimes the tower does come up as an actual epiphany, especially backed with the King of Swords right here, that Aquarian energy after like, so it's kind of like if, for example, if you guys did work together and you went back to the office and they were out that day or whatever, and you're just plugging away at work and work and work and work, and you're in that productivity mode, thinking about other things, but then the epiphany pops in your mind about this person. Who's showing up as a child, by the way, as a page. There's there's some that with the manipulate there, there's some immaturity here. Doesn't matter if they look like a grown adult. There's 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 a level of immaturity here. There there's the epiphany. The sadness. I always hope that sadness is short lived. But in case it's not, do know that it will end. It will end. Especially if you keep yourself productive, because that's where the epiphanies come through about this connection, which prompts your next action, right? Show me the Queen of Wands. Knight of Swords, Two of Cups. Yeah. There goes my mic. I see. <sighs> Okay. 
Are we still working here? Yes, we are. Sorry about that. As I said, teeny tiny table. <laughs> okay. So, move this over here and we're going to go this direction. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this person. I'm hearing they love drama. But, okay. <laughs> drama, drama, drama. Okay. Show me the Eight of Swords, please. Tower. Six of Wands. Magician. Yeah, there is a manipulative vibe with this person. It feels like a a distorted masculine energy that's more Scorpio energy there so it was an ego blow that you exited the funny thing is is they could have been the one that physically left but you were the one that exited like no ties no open doors phone lines and anything Show me the Page of Wands. King of Wands, Leo Energy, Ace of Cups. Oh, they wanted to come towards you, though. They wanted to come towards you. But they were convinced that they can't. Why? Show me the nine, just the Nine of Swords, the reason behind the anxiety. They don't know what they want. There is, there is a, this was a lesson for them too, believe it or not. There was a lesson for them too, believe it or not. But the idea of coming towards you remained mostly in fantasy because of fear. Whoever they were already with, they were telling themselves, but I'm already happy. Well, you wouldn't really be fantasizing about making an offer to someone else, then would you, if you're so happy? Ugh. Okay. So, they, they left. Show me the Eight of Cups. Show me what they moved towards. Did that one flip over? Did I miss that? Nope, flip back over. Okay. Where'd they go? <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So they were supposed to learn, or they were on the path of learning, a um, guidance regarding indecision. Indecision around things based in the heart. So that means they're, they're disconnected from theirs. Okay. This is not for you to fix. This is not for you to fix or influence. This is destined to be something that they heal. Is this something they will ever actually heal in this lifetime? Mm. Not enough to make you compatible, unfortunately. It looks like he's going to start <clears throat> building in that direction, but it's, it's just not going to be... See, there's the, the thinking of moving fast. And he's, it's still a mismatch. They don't want to change. 
the wish is to hold back the wheel. They don't want to change. Death, card of Scorpio. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, they're they're not going to change to a level that's going to make you compatible in this lifetime. I'm sorry. I was hoping for something happier. I always hope for those miraculous moments, and sometimes they do happen. Sometimes they do happen. Is there someone new in Libra's near future? A lot of change. And then someone's going to slip in there. Gemini, Pisces, Leo. And take a shot. Ooh. Anything else? Gonna move pretty slow. I'm getting this this person this masculine is really dependable, which is a lovely quality. And that's your long term right there. Ten of coins in the world. That's your long term right there. It looks like you're already building your to your ten of pentacles because it showed under there the eight for you. Okay. Okay, as this slowly builds, there's going to be a point where it just takes off quickly, of course, when we finally hit our stride in connection, right? Okay, so I'll head over to the extended and I'll go into this new person. Because this other person is, has, the connection has served its purpose. You have learned your lesson. It's up to them to learn theirs, right? So... I'll look into the new person um, and see what's around them in their current energy, their near future, and the outcome between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.